No, we, I mean, everything I changed. Uh, you know, our, our world changed um, since Biogrove. Yeah, it's, if it wasn't for Biogrove, we wouldn't be where we were today, where we are today. It's just, it's, it's so, we've got such fond memories of it. We, um, we kind of owe everything to Biogrove. Yeah. It's, it's where we learned to do what we do. It's where we met each other and became uh, best friends. It's, um, it was such a, a, an important time in our lives as well, those kind of teenage years. And we learned discipline, you know, we, we were on set. We, we had a proper job, you know, we had to behave, we had to learn our lines, we had to turn up on time. So, you you know, you kind of learn professionalism and it, it put us in good stead for the for the rest of our career. But their time as PJ and Duncan on TV's Biker Grove would land the boys another route to start on. We, we had two choices. One was to go back to college. Yes. Um, and the other one was to sign a record contract. and. You know, we, we, we signed it, and we even our lawyer said, I advise you not to sign this contract. <laughs> but I understand if you do. And we did, and we had fun, didn't we? We, we traveled had, the we world, had, we had yeah. great fun, we had a good laugh. Ant and Deck are the best thing that's happened to kids TV, actually to TV, uh, in this country for a long time. We met once before we actually started the series. We actually, um, we met up with Kat, and we just knew straight away that we clicked and we were going to be friends. You know, some of the things we do are a bit saucy and a bit, you know, funny. And, and, and people say, can you get away with that on Saturday morning telly, on kids' telly? And we don't know if we can a lot of the time, but we just try it. But I think people realised that there was something, you know, that, that these guys could work. They just needed the right vehicle for a Saturday night. And then the right vehicle was Pop Idol. Their primetime breakthrough famously came with this all-singing, all-dancing revamp of the old-fashioned talent show. The boys and their bosses hit pay dirt as they found their perfect roles on the show. What was fascinating was how good they were with the punters, how good they were at, um, you know, being able to put their arm around them and going, are you all right? The boys' next excursion saw them back on more familiar telly terrain. <laughs> at first you think, I'm a celebrity, that's an odd choice. Here they are, they're mainstream hosts, they should have their own show. This isn't a show that's about them. Actually, it's a fantastic choice. Ant and Deck's hot streak continued with Saturday Night Takeaway, a live extravaganza that allowed the boys to try new things. Had a fantastic run of big Saturday Night shows, and uh, Saturday Night Takeaway became the next one. And it wasn't like what had gone before. It had more in common with something like Mill's House Party than obviously a show like Pop Idol. Takeaway harks back to, to another time when Saturday night was the big night, when everyone stayed at home to watch the big show. Of course, this standing was by now due in no small part to Ant and Dec's other entertainment juggernaut. It, it's called Britain's Got Talent, and a lot of them are very talented, but a lot of them have got that, you know, those funny talents that you should only really keep to your bedroom. They saw the potential in that show. Uh, I hear it was like their idea that they stood in the woods, and that's what makes that show so successful. There was once a time when Declan and Anthony didn't come as a pair. Ant said in a statement, My recovery's going very well, and for that to continue, having spoken to Declan ITV, I've made the decision to take the rest of the year off. I'd like to thank both Deck and ITV for their continued support and I look forward to getting back to work in the new year. Emerging from 10 months of TV exile and behind his best friend, and my partner steps back into the light. It's like it never happened. Um, but when we get together, it is like a family um, yeah. vibe in the studio and it just feels, it just feels good and it's felt yeah. great and everyone's happy. And somebody else is back. <laughs> My co-host for this series, would you please welcome Mr. Ant 
Apocalypse! 